see if let's wait for uh, for you guys to show up and uh, hopefully we can check if it's still working or not because yeah it was streaming as hell earlier streaming i mean it was lagging uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay let's check what it looks like on my phone It's all right on the phone. <clears throat> okay, it's playing nicer right now, which is good. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we are back. What's up? What's up? What's up? Thanks for hanging around, man. All right, let's see. Hopefully, this time is better. So far, it's good. Maybe it's the music that I need to stop playing. My computer can't handle that right now i mean i've got pretty good specs right if i show you my about this mac um okay i don't know if you can see that without zooming in but yeah i can't zoom in but basically 2.4 gigahertz 8 core intel i9 got 32 gig of memory um i guess the graphics card is the one that affects right full gb amd radium pro intel uhd graphics maybe it's these two that messes it up in terms of memory and stuff it's pretty good so and it used to be fine like two three weeks ago ever since this big sir update the new os it's just been uh it's messed up messed it up big time um okay so today aurora we are going to see what is this um Yeah, we're gonna check this. Yo, Abs, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, man, I've been so busy at work because um, it's like end of the year kind of thing, and a bunch of projects need to be finished. And um, yeah, and yeah, it's like yeah, and then my role is is uh, so I'm like a manager position, so like, I've got a bunch of things I need to take care of and figure out and then there's new years new stuff happening you need to prep for new year so i've been crazy busy for the last for this entire week um like monday monday i couldn't sleep sunday night so monday i just crashed i came on tuesday literally with like three hours sleep and I, you weren't here towards the end of the stream i was dead i was like okay guys i gotta leave and then yesterday i just went to bed straight man i was dead i literally had like a 12 hour day maybe even 13 hour day man it was mad and I just finished today. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening. You back to rock, paper, scissors? No, no, no. Uh, we finished rock, paper, scissors, but I want to, apparently, you know, oh, you were here that day when Aurora told both of us that our code is wrong and that we're, we're calling in the event listeners multiple times. So today he's on the chat to try to figure out, um, oh, you've already changed it. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong now. All right, okay. So, what was I doing wrong then? What we, what was I doing wrong? You want him to check? Okay. Yeah, he's here, he's here. <laughs> um, How do we check? Okay, so if I do a console log, I can check that, right? So I think, I think it's this thing here. Uh, can I do a console log event listener? Can I just console log this entire thing? Maybe that will tell us. All right. That's the reset game one though. Is that what we did wrong? 129. Yeah. 129 undefined. <clears throat> is, this, is this the problem that we're calling this again and again here? Each on each... Um, game reset right um <laughs> okay i think that's what, what we did wrong right here i think that's what you mean right this undefined thing coming up again and again three times now hmm 
how can we do this change that? Take a look at my game. Okay, you you updated it. Hey, yo! Oh, you even added an audio to it. On win, it gives you a ping. Oh, can you guys hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on loss, it gives you the <laughs> do doom kind of sound. That's sick. Hey. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you've added a fanfare to it. Nice. Okay, what do you get when you lose? I want to. I want to lose now. <laughs> Yo, that's sick, man. That's awesome. <laughs> um. Okay, to make it clear, you need to make sure the ad of a listener is only called once. Right. Okay. Right, so this one. Um, so I need to inspect the button, which is this one. You should be able to see the event listen attached on the click event. Okay, so this sh this is the button, right? Hey, what's up, Mike? Oh man, okay. I need to <laughs> Mike with the fifty-seven. Nice. Okay, let me change that real quick. I always forget that I need to reset this every time I, um, every time I restream because some reason. Stream. See this one. Okay, I think it's this one. Okay, that should be good now. Let's let's check it out. There we go. Um, now, oh, you mean there's no even listeners in mind, so we're good. Oh, I need to keep clicking until it shows up. Hey, what's up? What's up, Jason? How's it going, man? It's been a while. This week's I haven't I haven't been consistent. I only streamed twice. Feels like I haven't spoken to you guys in forever. See your apps seems fine. Oh, so mine is messed up, but his is good. There is a tab. Oh, click. So okay, so this is this is the problem. All right, let's let's quickly. All right, let's refresh. What's going on, Jason? What are you up to, man? I need to inspect the button, don't I? Okay. All right, let's try, try that again. Um... Okay. Uh, I've been listening for that one. I don't know why I'm not getting it. Um, sad thing, it only refreshes if you click on inspect again. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, okay. Computer's starting to slow down again. 
not good. Okay, so I'm not going to inspect this. And then go to event listeners. Okay, we got a click. We got one. So if I keep doing this and I lose, do another restart. Oh, I need to click on inspect again. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Oh, dude, I keep <laughs> keep going past the play again button. Paper, paper, paper. Okay. All right, let's inspect that. And we are going to the event listeners. Whoa, look at that. Okay, that's the problem. So how do we fix that? Did you finish the whack? Um, kind of, kind of fix. I think... I'll show you. I'll show you in a second. Um, it's, it's fixed with bugs. <laughs> um, it works, but it's not what I what I want it to be. Maybe I can send it to your network. Okay, more. What about you? Did you work on that? I know you were building it a couple of days ago. Da, da, da. Yeah, here's, here's what I got so far. There's a bunch of uh, features I want to add. But uh, okay, so what's the problem here? So we call this 130. So I'm, add, I'm adding an event listener every single time. Uh, the reset game button. So, okay, so when the buttons click, I'm basically telling it to hide those three buttons and then show the play again button and then change the text to that, which is choose your weapon wisely text right here, right? Um, make sure you set it up only once, okay. Oh, so I can basically put this outside is what you're saying? Something like that, and then... Okay, but somehow I need to... The reason I put it in there was because... Do I actually call it? Where do I call this function? Right, that's where I call it. Oh, okay, that might just be it then. Because I actually do call it somewhere else. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. We have a bug missing on line 140. What am I missing? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Choose your weapon wisely. Does it change? Okay. Play again. Let's go ahead and inspect that. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's two. Let's try a bunch of times and we'll inspect again. Hey, what's up, Zali? How's it going? Yeah, it's been good, man. It's been busy working, so um, this is my second stream of the week. Or is it my third? I don't even know. Okay, looks like I fixed it. Aurora. I think we're good. 
Relish. Let's um, inspect again. Some of them listeners. Yeah, I think we. Oh, yeah, only one. I think we're good. So basically, I had to do the play button outside, and then not sure what could be solved. Yeah, it's not showing up because I'm clicking on it multiple times. Because I added the uh, the event listen outside of the reset game function. I think we're good. How did you solve it, uh, Abs? Let's take a look at your code. Okay, that's not your code. Where's your code? Same thing you did already. <laughs> okay, very cool. Man, can you guys see my mouse literally like walking at a snail pace? Also, what's weird is my my camera is it doesn't lag, right? But the screen lags. So I'm not sure how I can fix that. Let's see, stream bitrate. Okay, let's bring the bitrate down. Sixty frames per second. All right, I'm gonna change the resolution of my webcam. <clears throat> that might make the stream slightly better. 30 frames per second. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, let's see, boom, boom, boom. Use a lot of case. Did I use case? I, I can't even remember. Yeah, okay. Function, check first of five, reset labels and score. Play it again. Everyone listeners. I also like how you've uh, commented the different sections. Yeah, I should, I need to do more of that. All right, cool, man. That one's finally solved. That took a while. Oh, well, I've just been procrastinating on checking on that, so. Um, open. <coughs> uh, why come all right? So yeah, here's where we at with this one. Well, I've already sent you the link. And I need to figure out how to fix this because this lag is driving me nuts. Okay. Wow, look at that. It's <laughs> still loading. Um, where's my CSS gone? Yo, did I delete my CSS file? Oh, yeah. I've just disabled everything for some reason. Okay, so yeah, so we got this working, but right now it's, it's a bit too fast. Um, 
I'm sleeping now because I just came from book. All right, man. Sounds good. Catch you. See you around. I'll definitely be back tomorrow for a Friday night stream. Hopefully, I can catch a stream next time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to stream on the weekend. It's going to be a big stream because I need to catch up. I better. Um, yeah. This week, I haven't streamed as much, so I need to put in the time. Okay, so separate app. So here's the different things I want to add to it. There's a bunch of different functions. App.js. Uh, yeah, I need to limit JSON from being able to do that. But I actually made a note on the other one. I haven't even fin finished Etch a Sketch, really. Okay. <laughs> I, well, I, I was working a lot more. Like, I mean, coding, but. How far are you along with the Etch a Sketch project? All right, so here, here are the features I want to add to this. Um, so add a game over message after the first 10 seconds when it finishes off. Because you message that says the game finished. Click something to play again. Uh, add the high score to local storage and display on the page somewhere. Uh, limit the scores. I actually don't know what that means. I also need to limit JSON from being able to use the console. It's basically somehow uh, make sure that it, you can only do it using the, your mouse and not like crazy hacking skills that JSON has, nothing like that. Responsiveness for large screens. So yeah, my screen is pretty big. Hey, did we fix it? Yeah, you see how when I do that, it doesn't work. Um, that's a potential thing. And instead of the mouse click, I was thinking maybe we can add a hammer and you can basically just hammer it down. That'd be cool. You added response. Okay. Nice. Actually pretty easy. <laughs> okay. I know as you do some media query stuff, but I, I need to practice a little bit. I was thinking maybe a different animation when the thing gets hit slows down or something. I don't know how hard that would be. Um, Okay, this is also a crazy idea. Maybe we can add um, a different rounds. So you play round one, round two, round three, round four, and as you progress up in the rounds, the, the thing gets faster and faster. It slowly progresses up. Um, so I guess it could be on round one, um, the random speed will be times 10. And the like what I mean is... Yeah, this thing here is times by 10, and then you go to round two, nine, eight, seven, six. So that as you progress up, the thing gets really, really fast. And you wait for it to stop popping out after 10 seconds. Oh, these two are done. That's also done. Yeah, so those are the things I want to I add. I don't know what this app to JS is. What is that? Why do I have two of these? Okay, I'm gonna delete this. Hopefully it doesn't move to trash. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, hit indicator using some CSS to make the most flash rate, for example. Yes, 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 yes. That would be great. It would be cool like, if you hit it. If you hit it with a hammer, right? Um, different animation, maybe slows on its way down or something. And flash red with CSS, like you said. I'm making this so complicated now, but yeah, something like that. I also need to find a hammer.
touch screen hammer detection did i say finger <laughs> okay um we need a hammer we need a hammer that's what we need Yeah, that's not right. Uh, hammer. Graphics. C claw hammer. Hey, that looks cool. But it's someone's. A hand and a hammer. That would be cool. Hand and a hammer. Hey, there you go. This one, which one looks badass? That one looks like it's definitely, it would just kill someone if you hit it, someone with that. Um, that one looks pretty, pretty cool as well. Ah, right, whatever, we'll just go with this one. It's going to be, oh, it's got, it's got thing on it. What's the thing called where you can get free uh, PNGs? Um, PNG tree or free pick. Hammer hand. So by okay. Hey, what's up, man? <clears throat> Where you at on JS studies? Um, so I finished off the free code camp JavaScript um, section. So I got the got the certification for that. So right now, building different projects. This is project number three. Yeah, that one's cool. We'll go with that. You can even use a CSS animation to make the hammer rotate 90% degrees so actually it does a hit animation. Okay, all right, let's do that. I need to register, dude. Why do I need to register? Free download, come on. Um, log in with Google. Nice, awesome. What about you, man? Are you learning? Are you a pro? What's your story? Free PNG download. Two free downloads left. Okay. Sure. No, we are always learning. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Learning. Everything's supposed to learn. Critique code. And I really need to do something about this lag. This new Big Sur update just messed me up, man. <clears throat> you started last year on web development? Nice, man. Self taught, or are you learning from school? Did some kind of boot camp? Or learning at work? Um, okay, what do I need to do? I need to go to whack a mole and add the uh, picture there. Man. College and Stack Overflow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Stack Overflow, man. That thing's helped me a lot already. That's where I found the code to do the um, the RGB thing I had to do. All right, here we go. Let's rename this to Emma.
Okay, so how do we make the hammer show? I... All right, that's gonna be crazy, right? The hammer needs to follow the mouse. So I need to change, um, change the mouse cursor to an image. I don't know if it'd be CSS or JavaScript. One of the two, I don't know how to do that. How to change mouse cursor to an image, there you go. Uh, you can specify a URL to it in your CSS. So cursor, ooh, ooh, div, why div? All right. jQuery, we're not going to use that. Drag me. Okay, apparently that's how you do it. So that needs to go into my CSS. Let's try it. I don't know what the auto is. Get rid of that. Okay. Mm, not doing that. Do I need to create a div with the image too? Am I on the right thing? Because I deleted the other JavaScript file, hopefully not the wrong one. Uh, hammer, sh check. No, I went the right one. CSS. Change the cursor with CSS for better user experience. URL path to P. Okay, maybe it needs to be in quotes. What's a dot module? When it's over a div. Right, okay. So these all should be divs, right? It's not changing that. Um. Okay, this one here works, right? They've used a circle like that. How do they do it? The module class means something with the class module. Okay. 
So, do we, okay. Do I want the hammer in all, at all times? No, right? I only want it at once you click play game. Okay, so if that means, maybe I said the entire thing. I have no idea if it's good or not. If I just say body class equals <laughs> module, so everything is in that class. How's that? No. Because that's what we're doing, right? Anything when it hovers over a certain class, it's gonna add that. Oh, I think I think we can target body directly. So maybe we just instead of creating a thing, we put it r right here. There, how's that? Uh, nope. What does this you mean? You... Yeah, they've done it here. Edit on clipping, let's see what they do. They're using something called SCSS, which I have no idea what that is. Dot SVG cursor. SVG is a class. Is a div with the class, okay. the target much now there is a CSS for everything it is ah oh, nice nice Thank you, thank you. You saved me so much, so much time there. <laughs> I, I probably should have thought about that and Googled that specific thing. How do I target everything? Instead of guessing it was body. Um, wait, do I have the dot thing here? Okay, right here. I would, oh, I'll go cursor twice. Still no, huh? Maybe the, the link here is wrong. I mean, it shouldn't be long, wrong. Hammer.png. Maybe it's not URL source. Um, CSS cursor source. Good. 
cursor1.png. Yeah, I mean, they all use URLs. I mean, it's in the same folder, I'm not sure, but I think it's URL auto without the thing. Yeah, this one has this thing here though. So we can we can test it out. Okay. That doesn't like that. Maybe we remove the folder thing. Still doesn't like it. What's this red thing here? I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. I don't know why this doesn't work. I mean, we are on the right file, right? Yeah. I get rid of that, which is fine. Hammer the PNG. Cursor. You can check if the page even loads that with the PNG. Um, okay. So you mean like add a new image and see what it does? Okay, that loads that dot hammer PNG. Oh, good to networking. Okay. Right, so it's on there right now. Uh, network tab. Style CSS. Oh, look at that. Look how many hammers we've got. Why do we have so many hammers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, never mind. Curses have limitations. One, two, eight by one, two, eight. Oh, the, the image size? Is that the problem? Using an external image for that. Um, it's, yeah, you're right. One two eight by one two eight. That's not that big. Um, tiny pick. Is it tiny pick? Image resize. Look at the limitations. Yeah, one two eight by one two eight. Uh, larger cost images will be ignored. High visual image subs thirty by thirty to the maximum compatibility. Uh, one two eight by one two eight. That's not that. How big is that? Let's let's resize. Pick resize. Um, okay. Oh, but it doesn't give me the the thing. I think it just compresses it, huh? I 
how do we change dimensions? Change picture dimension. Keep aspect ratio or something. Downloads, no, no, no. Documents. Oh. Don't want to spoil, but there's more than one to achieve here. Your first will probably press cursor, second one will be make an image, follow your cursor, buzzword, CSS, absolute positioning, and. <laughs> Man, that, that is much more simpler than what I'm going to do. Okay. Make an image, follow your cursor. Second approach is another limitation, right. Yeah, that makes more sense. How do we make it follow again? Um, CSS absolute positioning. So I would need to. Looks like I need to add a add an element. Let's just check. Um, CSS mouse move vet. All right. On mouse move. Div on mouse movement function move the cursor over me. Move the cursor over me. It needs to move um, on the body. Maybe we can do it on the, on the body. Add event listener, mouse move. On mouse move. Yep, there you go. Fantastic. All right, okay. Let's just try it. Um, Uh, document dot query selector I want to select everything so can I do body is that going to select the entire page body dot on mouse move Um, let custom cursor. Uh, function that is going to run What do I need to do? I need it to add some kind of class. So I need to run some kind of CSS script, right? So the way I've been doing CSS script so far is to toggle toggle something. Um, body dot uh, 
add cursor. Okay. I don't think that's how I did it. <clears throat> well, so, what's going on, man? As in real life, you only have one body. So you're saying I don't need this? Talk to me rather than this kind of thing. Warning, uh, you want a on mouse move listener body is okay. Then in, in it, you want to set the position for cursor object image to be image, for example. Okay, all right, let's do this then. Okay, let's get rid of that. Custom mouse. Position. Absolutely right. That's what we said. So document body was right. Oh, talking, I don't need the query selector always what you're telling me. Okay. Because there's only one. Right. Uh, custom cursor that add. So I don't need this one here either. Document the body. Function class list add custom map. dot custom mouse. All right, <laughs> see what that does. Query select the body. Document the query select the body is the same as document the body. No, no, no. You can, you can query select the body, but okay, okay, okay. I see what you mean now. You can array with p tags, right? Okay. All right, I'm with you. Still not working though. Why is it not working? How do I even check if the cursor has that, right? Well, I use body because I want it. I want body to have this custom mouse. Um, hang on. What's the event listener? Mouse move. Body the class list add. Is it body? No, sorry, it's custom cursor, isn't it? That's no, not. No, we're adding it to the, the star thing, right? We're not using the CSS approach anymore. It's that second approach. <laughs> Create an image and set it with hammer. <laughs> Create an image and set... Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So what was our first approach? The first approach was to directly change the cursor thing. And that has a limitation of one, one, two, eight by one, two, eight. Um, so instead of that, we said we're going to do a mouse move. On mouse move is going to add the image, right? So 
what is it going to add the image to? I thought it would still need to add the image to the cursor. Um, but it needs to it needs to do the X Y position depending on the mouse move event. Second approach is the HTML image element volume. Yeah. Okay, so if I set an image somewhere somewhere out here. Source equals hammer. Right, okay. Wow, wow, that's actually quite big. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Okay, ID equals hammer pick, so we could go document dot query how many moles <laughs> all of them um oops okay okay all right. Oh my days, what happened? Okay, so we need to target the hammer pick, which is a which is an ID. Um, height of let's say thirty pixel. Oh, it's too way too small, dudes. <laughs> there you go, Zali. That's gonna hit one. Maybe maybe double two thirty, a hundred more. Yeah, that's a reasonable size, I think. Maybe not, maybe more. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's the height it's gonna be. Uh position absolute. <laughs> yeah, one two eight was. Uh, for some reason, I thought it'd be it'd be uh <laughs> it'd be big. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay. In the mouse move event, you need to manipulate the CSS values with top and left, which controls the X and Y. All right. All right. So that means um. What does that mean? That means this can, we can change this. So we need to add top and what do you say? Top and left controls X and Y. And those need to be dynamic styles. They do need to be dynamic. They do need to be dynamic. Um, all right, let's just set something. I want to see what it does. 10px, let's say 40. All right, did that move? I don't even know. Okay, let's say top is 100. Where's the mouse? Maybe minus 100? Wait, I'm moving the wrong thing. Come on. <laughs> the, um, here. What does that do? Hey, look at that. Okay, it moves. Perfect. So somehow uh, it needs to 
get the XY position and we need to add the using JavaScript, right? Um, cursor position JavaScript. Uh, get the current, yeah, that's what we need. Get the current mouse cursor position. Hey, what's up, Bo? How's it going? Uh, by the way, I made this quick write-up last time of the suggesting. Uh, okay, perfect. Because that is something we're going to build. Quick introductory document for... Amazing, thank you. I'm not going to read it now. I'm going to add it to our notes right here. And we're going to read it when we get to it, which is boom. Awesome. Appreciate the write up, man. We're gonna we're gonna do that for sure. Right now I'm trying to I'm trying to do the easy one, which apparently is not so easy because I've been stuck on it for almost an hour. And basically been handheld by Aurora the whole time. Aurora? Aurora I can't even say Aurora. <clears> oh <throat> So what do we need? We need to be able to get the current position of the cursor at all times. Uh, event, capture events. Okay, capture events, get x, y. What is all that? Scroll left, scroll top. <clears throat> Read about the mouse move event. Okay. Local storage. I'm actually trying to make a general class that will save some data automatically. Cool, man. I'll be interested to see how what you do. We can use this on this project. <laughs> okay. That doesn't sound like it's saving time or space. <clears throat> Um, all right, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are checking for mouse positions. Uh, close that for now. We'll come back. All right, so let's get a mouse move. This can go away. <clears throat> there you go, mouse move event. The following example uses mouse down, mouse move, and mouse up. Interesting. Offset X and offset Y. I have no idea what any of this code is doing. X is zero, Y is zero. My picks, okay. Get context. So what's the get context? Oh, that's the canvas thing? Yeah, I never learned that. Okay. Uh, my picks dot add event listener. Mouse move, mouse up, mouse down.
function draw line begin Oh, look at this example, okay. Season some of the lambda function stuff. Oh, that's what this is, a lambda function? Because right now it's just going way over my head. I'm like, what, what is... Anyway, okay. <laughs> Appreciate the link. Uh, here's an example. Oh, it's giving me coordinates. How do you even find this stuff, man? <laughs> Um, hey, what's up, Marvel? <laughs> I'm learning about cursor coordinates and apparently some kind of lambda functions. All right. All right, if everyone's playing the game, I'm playing the game. Droop Dog, what's going on? Emma Slinity. Windward, I see you. Yay, 31. All right. Div, my div. P and a P and a P. Script, document get them in ID plus div. Add event listener, move. Mouse, function event, function, function event. Hmm? Function, my function E, uh, variable X, E dot client X. Y equals E to find X and coordinates is a string. Oh, it's a string, and we're concatenating the X, which is E to find X, and Y, which is Y, and get document E is equal to core. Which is the coordinates, right? This example is adding to, to attach a mouse pointer to a div to get the coordinates of your mouse pointer. Alright. I kind of get it, but we should be able to use this code and pass it on to. What do I need to do? So I need to pass the x coordinate to left and then y so this here needs to be y and this here needs to be x right somehow somehow i need to add hmm. all right it's okay So I need to add or toggle, I guess, add the class hammer pick, but I also need to add the X and Y coordinates to hammer pick, hammer pick. Uh, that's what I meant about dynamic style. The CSS file cannot be changed. Oh, you, oh, it cannot be changed. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Wait, there was a way to add variables to CSS, no? CSS variables. The var function. However, every HTML element has a style property which you can change to set in styles directly. That will take precedence of the style of the CSS files. Oh, so I could go hammer pick. Um, so function that sets the style to whatever, whatever. Okay. All right, let's give that a shot. Uh, 
Uh, so what do we have? We've got custom calls to there. Actually, let's bring it down here. Dogman gave me my day of admin listener, which is hammer pick. Hammer pick the admin listener is this bit here. So he's got this this event thing. I don't understand this event thing completely. It's got function that takes in an event. Right. Why function event? And it just does that. And then, okay. My function is this my function right here. Okay, got it. And then the my function thing uh, takes in an E. Um, let x equals there. Y is the coordinates. Okay, I don't, I don't think I actually need that. Um, get them by ID, blood, or style. Yeah, okay. All right. Get them by ID, hammer pick. Well, we've already got that, no? We've already got custom cursor. Custom cursor dot. Think of the syntax node dot add event listener event name event name handler function. So okay, so every time I do an uh, event listener, I'm selecting an event name, which is mouse move on click handler. What does handler mean? Handler. I, I was reading some stuff, and there was something about handlers, and there was something about um, helper functions or something. Uh, saying on no element whenever an event happens on the element, the handler function will run. Okay. All right, that makes sense. So the handler function in this case is function event. I mean, I could just make it into one, no? I don't need to run two different ones here. Can I not just go? Nah, whatever, separate out. Handler is just a catch all for functions which handle stuff. Right, okay, all right. When you react to an event, the handler is a function that handles the event to place. Okay, cool. Just a generic name. Um. That's what a handle function is. And what is the, what was the other one I just said? I forget. Helper, helper functions. I don't think that's JavaScript. Okay, so this gives us the, I think it gives us the X and Y. And then I'll just custom cursor. Custom cursor which is the hammer pick dot style and then here top equals y squared brackets there's square brackets no. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying to read your thing they are square hang on Yeah, did you run the Y you have there? Oh, okay, right, yeah. And red has got quotes, right? Cool. Cool, cool. And then if I wanted to do multiple stuff, can I just do comma? Or do I need to do it twice? Comma left. Equals 
equals x. You don't want the set. Oh, I remember I'm for ADP, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you also probably don't want the top corner to be little y. Okay, what is top? Let me. X is two six five. Right. So it's gonna be whatever the position is gonna be. U is not defined. What is what do you mean? Oh I'll put U in there. Let's put in Y. Cannot read style of null. Oh, okay. Why is it not console login anymore? It was login when I put in you in there. It doesn't like why. Oh, it's because I, I removed that. I'm so dumb, man. Because <laughs> I'm not hovering on the page, I'm hovering on the console. All right. No, it's not. Must be on your new website. Yeah, yeah, we got that. But it only works for X for some reason. So if I remove the Y, it'll give me the X position, which is. Oh, never mind. Stop working. Dude, it was just working, what happened? Oh. There you go, that's what I was doing wrong. Right, so right now it only does it when I hover over this image, because that's where we, we got the thing to set, right? Okay. Uh, hammer pick. So, it, it needs to be the body thing. Let's go back to that. Okay, there you go. We're not getting the Y, we're not getting the X because... Right. So why can't I do that? Why can't I just assign it? So at this position, I'm going to get a specific X and Y. Talking the body that I had. We want to listen now. Um... Right, but custom cursor is that body. So, I mean, it's doing the thing. All right, let me just see what happens. Um, for for Kui. If I set it directly to that, I want to see what it does. Uh, 
custom cursor is the image axis. I changed it. I changed it to the body. I don't know what. Yeah. Why did I change it? Okay, I need to think through what I'm doing here. <clears throat> so we got the hammer. Okay, yeah, we need. To, okay, yeah, yeah. So I need. Whoa, I need to add the top to to these, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm being dumb. Yep, hammer pick. So the custom cursor is fine. So that means this here needs to change now. Document. Dot. Body. And then on that. We're gonna put custom cursor, the style. Okay, it doesn't like the comma. Or maybe it did. Invalid destructuring assignment target 126. Uh, customer's image, you changed it because you wanted the mouse movement to find the entire body, not just the image. Right, yeah, yeah. My pain is unbearable. Thinking about what you do sounds like a great idea. Yep, 100%. I am not in the game today, man. All right, what do we have? Okay, so we have an image with this ID, hammer pick. Right, and the hammer pick is we got this. So basically, it needs a top and bottom positions. Oh, it doesn't work in here. See, oh, CSS. How do you add comments in CSS? Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, it's this. That's what he's doing now. So add a uh, top and left to hammer pick, and I'm using JavaScript to do that. And the way you do that is JavaScript. Um, so we got the hammer pick on. So this this here is gonna give me X and Y on the page, and, and once I have the X and Ys, custom cursor which is the image selector. Dot style. Top equals that. Left equals X. No multiples, okay. <laughs> and uh, as said, why is a string? Why without the is your far? Oh, gotcha. Yep. Okay. Okay. What does that do? It's giving us X and Y's, but this thing. Okay. It's not. It's not adding the thing. Um. I can see what you're trying to do. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work. S split up the assigning X and Y into completely separate lines. Oh, I've also got top on both too. Um, 
It's meant to be left, my word. <laughs> my hair went to book. Did we do it? Okay, why is it here? Can you be more dynamic? <laughs> it doesn't want to be dynamic, guys. All right. X and Y is fine. But yeah, we're running into the problem that you said where it's not being dynamic. Um, Oh, set attribute. But that just says the class, no? It doesn't actually say. Yeah, style, background, bro. That's, that's what we're doing here. Style dot background color equals red. Uh, I've got to think why this doesn't work as intended. All right, so so okay. From based on what you're saying, this here is correct. This should be adding it. The problem is it's not doing it for some reason, and the reason is uh, you gave me a hint earlier. <laughs> you said it's it's not dynamic. You cannot add it to the CSS or something. Why is it all the way up top? Because of this ray height. The top, right, bottom, and left properties determine the final location. I mean, we should be adding the top and st st stuff from there. I mean, that's the same as this, right? Equals, equals, and it just does it. I, I guess it does it in the first try. Let's see. Maybe it doesn't do it because we only call it. No, we don't, right? We got mouse was on mouse move. It should be. It's getting the coding is fine. I 
and um, x and y are not they're not okay let's see so if i do this right okay let's do that all right so we got some x and y stored so if i try and find what the x position is x is not defined okay it's not defined because it's inside this it's this it's inside a function um got it Oh, you've been thinking why it's not working. Um, <laughs> oh man, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, we're done. I messed something up. Hey, <laughs> yes, we have a hammer, guys. <laughs> but I don't, okay, it's leading by, you see the difference? I don't know how to show you. There's a difference between the start of the hammer and the, where the cursor is. There's a bit of a lag. So, see what I mean? So if I want to hit this, I'm hitting underneath it. Set the Z index higher. But but the the cursor is lagging behind, man. Zero, is that the highest? All right, so Z index is higher, okay. So this is good. Um, it also needs to do this this action. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Right now it's like this. It needs to be boom boom. Uh, the lag behind is only the cost the left top. Um, so I did something. Top is Y, the left is X. Wait, what I don't understand. The lag behind is only because the left top attributes are used for two left. So you need to add half the width and half the length to get a center. What do you mean the left top is added to left? Okay. So at that position, this is this is our x position, right? So three four four and three six three. So somewhere here should be like zero zero somewhere here. So top of the page here should be zero zero then. Left top of the image is the pivot right now. Um, I think is what you mean. So the fifty percent off. Oh wow, that's just, that is horrible. Okay, the three hundred was fine. Let's do one hundred fifty. Use some numbers. <coughs> 
what you want is to shift the image. Okay, so you're saying, how do I shift it? The position? The height, the width? Oh, translate, I think we can do. Transform. Translate. X. Okay, so I'm in the wrong direction. Y seems about right, maybe even a hundred. Actually, no. no. Let's do let's do X. Minus thirty. Minus fifty percent. Okay. Um, it's not doing much. It's, it's right now. It's to the top left of the. So halfway, halfway down the middle, and halfway to the right. Right, that's all I need to do. So. Uh, one hundred fifty. Just gonna bring it down halfway. And then I need to go hundred and fifty to the left. Okay, so it actually went to the thing. So it this has to be negative two. Not equals but negative. Use pixels, okay. The second translation will override the first when you assign transform twice on it. Um, oh, okay. All right, let's do that. Translate. Man, I, I only learned about translate X and Y when I was doing this keyframes like a couple of days ago. So, thanks. Um, all right, 150 pixels are. Hopefully that's the X. Oh, maybe that's Y. It's X, X, and Y, not Y, and X. Um, hey, there we go. But I want, I want the, the, I want the, the head of the hammer to be the point of the cursor, right? That's what we need. So what do we need to do? We need to shift it down even further in the y direction so let's say i don't know let's say 250 what is that okay it actually went up that's not what i want whoa maybe it was negative Now the picture is above. <laughs> um, let's see, two hundred. Picture is still above. A hundred. What's that doing? All right. Okay, we're getting close. So now the only thing I need to move now is 
x direction, right? It needs to go further in. Get some minus hundred and minus hundred and twenty. I have no idea what that did. Yo, is that changing anything? I have no idea what that, okay. I don't actually see the difference here. Let's go 250 and we'll know. All right, okay, we're clearly moving the wrong direction there. So it looks like we need to go into positive, not negative, for X. Let's go on in 20 positive. Um, it's too much. Okay, very close. Fine tuning, but overall we got there. Yeah, thank you, man. Thanks for your help, guys. <laughs> I was thinking, like, how did you know it's a top left by... I finally got it when I was looking at this picture and it's moving. Why did it make sense? Okay. We need the mouse to, mouse to be... Man, there must have been an easy way to do this in trial and error. Come on. Why is it... Look at that, zero is closer. So maybe minus 10. Okay, there we go. All right, almost there. <laughs> almost there. Very close. 25. Okay, I think I think the X position is there. Maybe like 27, and we just need to tune the Y position. It's one thing you're using the translate right now, which is one way to do it. I would rather use the mouse movement X, Y value to solve it. But isn't that what we did? Oh, you mean translate X value, translate the Y value? Seems a bit laggy too. I think it's just my computer, man. It's just been laggy. It's, I don't know. It's been so laggy ever since the new, the new update I pushed, the big Sir update. It's just been laggy as hell. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure if I switch my, if I stop streaming, the lag's gonna go away. All right, so we need a little bit of X and a little bit of Y. Um, Let's say 30 and maybe 110. Yeah, how's that? That's okay. 35 maybe. There you go. We're in the middle now. Boom, 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 boom. Um, simply add, subtract the XY value for the shift. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna leave that for, for another time. <laughs> we got this working, I'm happy with that. Um, so you would set left to x minus 35 plus pixel, for example. All right, do you know what? Let's just try it so I can learn. So we got one way here, right? Which is the translate. So all I would do is um, right here, custom cursor dot style um top how's it gonna know that it's transform because i'm gonna type in transform i was trying i was trying to think like transform and then a value so we transform equals and then the string oh no 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 is this string translate yeah yeah yep so translate 
plus x Oh no, he meant to not set transform, but rather change x and y values. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> okay. But okay, but okay, we can do that. But how did you know, or how would you know it would be 35 pixels uh, without, without doing this thing first? Because that's how I figured out it would be that. Is there an easier way to check that? Or is that, do you know what I mean? So I found out the 35 because I was doing the manual process until I got here. Okay, yeah, that, that also works. Well, that was part of your design decision, and therefore, after trial and error, you know, you're right. Okay. You just cheated by looking at your screen. <laughs> okay. Now that makes sense, though. This looks really cool, man. <laughs> this looks so cool. Oh, uh, look at that. Now we just need some. Oh, no. We can't click start because my cursor is over the picture. Dude. All right, we need to fix that. So this hammer should only show up after I click start. Okay, here's a problem though, because I click start and then it's gonna show up and I don't know what to do. Do you know what would be cool? I'm just adding features to this great game now. Uh -huh. uh, what would be cool is once you click on start, it's gonna pop three, two, one, and then go, and then the things will start animating. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know how I'll do that, but that would be cool. Hammer pick hidden. Hammer pick hidden. But until until it's click, right? So after click clicking on start show a count down time of from three to go and then start the mole pop pop out animation okay this is gonna be fun uh, I have no idea how to do any of this all right let's see but man this has been such a big help client x and client y what is that let's just go over the other stuff first so you said he was using some lambda function or something. Offset x, offset y. I still need to get used to this this thing, the Boolean stuff. I know we used it once when I was doing the uh, when we did the thing, the the second project. Clarify on that one, yes, please. Man, I feel like this is actually harder to do this on here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use our notes to manage. So, then I can take it off as we go if my computer will work. Oh, nice. Uh, also refer to as arrow functions in JavaScript because the syntax is looking for an arrow. Wait, what? You mean this one? But when you said lambda, what do you mean by lambda functions? 
Or was that the same thing? Okay, cool cam notes. <clears throat> Ah, okay, okay. Function B return is the same as lambda, lambda or an arrow function. Got it. Okay, cool. I thought it was some kind of crazy, um, I don't know, some mathematical formula name or something. Also, uh, no, I, I'm not if I'm pronouncing your name right. Fakui <laughs> sounds like I'm swearing. It's Fakui, right? That's your name. I don't know if you've seen this before, but here's what we're doing. We're learning the code. Uh, we're currently kind of doing that. It is actually from, it's called Lambda Calculus. Right. Arrow functions are called Lambda Calculus. It's not 100% the same, but let's not talk about this right now. <laughs> but he wants me to get the basics first. I got you, man. I got you. Um, okay, to do's. We're going to paste all of this in. And this can go away. Um, actually, you know what? Let's change this. New feature. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's say it's heading three, so it's bigger. All right, so after clicking on that, we need to be able to do this. Um, add a game over message after 10 seconds. Uh, this is where we're going to look at Bo's stuff. I think we can do this multi part. Um, ba -ba -boom, local storage, that's another documentation. Limit the scores, I actually don't know. Can't recall what I meant by that. Limit JSON within the console, so limit it just mouse clicks. Responsiveness, yeah, I can go away for now. Add a hammer, hey, we can do a check mark, look at that. <laughs> One and boom is done. All right, boom. Let's cross that out. Cool. Um, class almost done. Okay, that's it done. Uh, once the mole is hit, add different animation and slow its speed. On its way down. That might be more complicated as I'm reading now. I need to do multiple things. Man, this game really is gonna be some some good stuff, man. It's gonna I'm gonna learn so much from this. Because I have no idea how to do any of those right now. Flash red with CSS when hit. We can actually make part of that. When the mole is hit, let's do this. Add different animation. Slow with speed. Do you know? Okay. Let's not slow it down. Do you know what would be cool? <laughs> is um, So when it's hit, it's going to pop up, pop out, right? To 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 its highest, um, to its highest top position. And then we're going to add those, you know the cartoon things when you get hit, the spinny thing around the head. Uh, I don't know how to do that. That would be cool. Add the spinning... I don't know what that's called, animation, I guess. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. So much graphics work. <laughs> Is that going to be hard? Uh, I have no idea how, how we would do that. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. It's actually from maps. The lambda arrow functions have some limitations, but think, think about it. Like, if you have some complex stuff and use a fully-fledged function, you have... 
you have some complex stuff, use a full-fledged function. If you have some simple stuff, write it as a short function. Okay. If it's complex stuff, then use the entire thing. If it's easy, then okay. By all means, use lambdas. Um, there's just an important conceptual difference between them and full-body functions. They are often just used as a more condensed notation, but there is a difference. However, getting into these problems would be a bit of a journey. Route. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Oh, so so you guys are saying that this arrow itself, this itself is called lambda. Is that what you said? That's why it's called a lambda function. Oh, um, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. The not is that the arrow sign? Mathematical notation. Oh no, or maybe not. Maybe not. Um, all right, we're also gonna give, man, we need to spice up our game. There's gonna be uh, round, <clears throat> rounds based game as you progress through round one to three. Um, the speed at which the moles show up increases. Yeah, basically gets faster and faster, whatever. Um, show the, so we, we want to show the score plus the level. Level on the I don't know on the page, <laughs> aka local storage stored it there somewhere. Right, something like that. Yeah, I think those would be cool. Any other ideas that you guys want to do that would make the game more fun? Maybe also I don't know. Maybe maybe also different um. Like sounds, um, so it could be like, um, you know, when it, when it's hit. Global. I have no idea how I do a global leaderboard, because I can want to do a local thing. So if I wanted to do a global, so anyone can play, anyone can add, and it would keep a list of that. I would have to. I would have to need a server, right? How much does that cost? Can I get free service or no? <laughs> um, different sounds. Uh, one for when hit, one for winning. Well, no, there's not really winning. One for Countdown would be cool. Da, 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 kind of thing. Countdown. Uh, maybe also like a generic background game music. Considering the traffic you would likely get, you would get a free thing. Something like Node and Firebase or. Um, okay. This is, this is, I'm not going to promise we're going to do this because I have no idea. If I feel like that's going to involve much more work, but look into the <laughs> possibility of, I don't know, adding a global leaderboard. Extreme black metal <laughs> in the back, probably going in. <laughs> um, mode. See, I don't know Node, that's the thing. I'd have to learn that Node on Firebase called Nux. So maybe we'd have to come back to this once I learn Node and we'll put it up there. Um, sadistic Mole Slayer 4000. Oh, that would be cool if we could give it like... Man, I'm actually trying to build a whole game. I'm pretty sure JavaScript is not intended to do that. I'd have to learn a different language. 
But if we could do, um, yeah, no, that's too much. I'm, I'm thinking some Guitar Hero kind of stuff where things pop up as you progress through and stuff. Yeah, that's too complicated for now. But this looks this this looks complicated to me right now. But I feel like I feel like we can do it. I, mean, I know you guys can do it with your eyes closed, but I think I think I can figure this out. Obviously, we need some help from you for sure. Most definitely, but <clears throat> yeah, I think I think we can do that. So that means we can get rid of all of this notes, right? Let's make it look. Yeah, we'll do that enough now. This means nothing. Just okay. Yeah, that can all go away now. <laughs> Alright, what are we handling next? Let's bring this back up. So we've got here's where we at. We got the thing, right? The start button is hidden, so we need to make this thing only show up after the start button's been clicked. So initially we need to set it to hidden. And I think we do that by how do I set it to hide? Display hidden. Is that a thing? Visibility. Just yeah, it is the display property, no? Oh, visibility. Visibility hidden. Okay, there we go. So I can click start and then once I click start, it needs to show up. Um I'm gonna worry about the three to one later because I think this would be easier. So all I would do is I would toggle I think I would toggle visibility. <clears throat> but the toggle just adds it on and off. So what I need to do, I need to completely, yeah, yeah, yeah toggle, add or remove. Um, so that would go where it would go, the start button, which is here, on click. Wait, do I not have anything for that? Okay, so right now it just runs the pop-out function, right? That's what it's doing. So where's pop-out? So I guess I would just go, um, where is it? We can get rid of this. Custom. I think we'd go custom cursor dot toggle just like that. Okay, nothing on the page. I click on it. Okay, that is not right. Toggle, toggle at toggle at why say attribute? It should just be toggle. Or maybe I'm wrong. Uh, warning. <laughs> I like warnings, man. There's a difference between visibility and display. Use display hidden if you want to run why give it a Google search. Okay. But I, I did display thingy first. It didn't work. Right. So display hidden. 
Look at that. It just shows up. It doesn't hide. See, when I refresh the page, it shows the bottom of the page right here. And then it does this thing. Um... Okay, I just thought of something else too. So we also need to, in the pop-out, we also need to call the function we wrote earlier, which is, so this one should not trigger until we click the start button. Oh man, how do you do that? Or maybe it's just gonna trigger in the back end. We just don't show it until, until the buttons click. But display hidden is not working. Um, is it not working because of the other functions or because of all of this? Not hidden, sorry, none. Ah, okay, all right. All right, there we go. That works. Um, And then what I do is I would toggle. Right here. I have a feeling I'm missing missing something when I talk to the toggle thing. Toggle JavaScript. Toggle between class names. Okay, you can only toggle between class names. Um Class name. I guess I could just do the cl class name because. Can I do just a class name? That's not a class name, that's an ID. Um, okay, so what I could do is I could just separate that out into a class, right? Say class hide hammer. Display one, display one. Now I can do that because it, it needs to be. It needs to be. Um, Could create a class that's hammer pick using toggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I think there's a bit of a bit of a lag. <laughs> I'm gonna take credit for coming up with that one myself. That's the only thing I came up with myself today. <laughs> and I'm gonna take credit for that one. Um okay, hide hammer display none. Hammer is hammer pick is the ID. Hammer pick should be our Custom Yeah, this is to go to the top. It's confusing here. Um, but, but it needs to be hidden at the start, and then when I click on it, it then it just shows. It needs to be the opposite of what it's doing right now. So we're going to add, right, and then we're going to... Yeah, we're going to add, no, we're going to remove. 
So this needs to go back in here. And then on click, I need to remove that. Okay, the problem is it's not gonna do that because I've already assigned it display none permanently on this one, right, to us, okay. Do I need to create a separate class? Can I not just go, just remove it from a hammer pick? Hammer pick is a, what is that? That's a, no, I can't, man. Uh, you can you can as well give it a class from the start. <laughs> then then you stop. Okay, so you okay. I, I see. Okay, you say in. Right. Okay. So give this a class. Of. Thingy. Hey, what's up? Fan of Choose Games, what's going on? Welcome, Raiders, what's going on? How was your stream? <laughs> oh man, it actually just uh, timed you out, my bad. <laughs> the bot has no. Has no <laughs> oh man, my bot is too strict. Welcome everybody. What's going on? What are you guys up to? I am building a game called Whack-A-Mole and we're trying to add features to it right now. Um, the stream was good, thanks. Nice. What do you do? This, it's got the name games in it. Do you play games or do you code? Um, let's check it out. <clears throat> Good luck with coding. Thank you. Thank you. We're making a game in Unity with C Sharp. Nice. Awesome. I'm making a simple game using JavaScript. <laughs> uh, very cool, man. I'll give you a follow. Very cool. My internet decided to be really slow right now. What game are you building? Check out this Among Us. Have you, have you been playing Among Us today? All right, cool. Yeah, I will check it out later for sure. Um, but everyone uh, coming from Benatus's stream, here's what we're doing. We are, thank you for the follow. Um, okay, so I've been learning the code since September, so it's been just over two months. Um, so here's what I'm doing until quarter one of 2021. So by March, here's the plan. We've gone through the free code camp curriculum. That's done. So right now we're building different different uh, projects. So this guy has got this JavaScript 30 challenge, I guess you could call it. It's a free course, and it's got all these different kind of projects that you can build. I've actually skipped all the way to the end. <laughs> I'm building whack a -Mole game right now. Um, yeah, day number 32, I believe, of learning JavaScript. Um, so once that is done, got a bunch of other stuff to do. And then, um, yeah, we're going to build on a real business project, which is called WorkCity, which I'm excited about. Hopefully by March of next year, I'll have enough knowledge to be able to actually code something for real. Um, but that's where we're at. So if you guys are learning JavaScript, and you want to hang out and learn together. Or if you're actual pros... We got some pros in the chat who come on here and just just teach me, man. It's insane. Like it's just I don't know why they'd want to spend their day 
watch a beginner stream and teach me, but I appreciate that. So if that's your thing, then again, hang around. Because I think that's one of the best ways you learn, right? By teaching someone else. So always welcome to hang around. And there's also a game you can play. See who can win the high score. If you just type in drop. <clears throat> I saw it on someone's um, stream and I stole it. It's pretty cool. Um, I wish we knew more. Knew more. Okay, so I've seen that. Cool. So today. All right. So the hammer pick is hidden and now we need to toggle it, right? So instead of remove, we are going to toggle that. Um, I think it's a class, so we'll do a dot. Let's see. So it's hidden. Click on that. Okay. All right, we broke something. Hide hammer is the one we need to do. Which is a class, which is a dot. Um, wait, now we need to show it this time. What's the opposite of display? Display none. CSS display property inline block. Um, okay, let's do block. Block, okay. Display block, fantastic. <clears throat> so if we do that, okay, it's going to show up at the start. Actually, do you know what? I didn't think that through. It, no, it, it has to be display none. But when I toggle, it needs to add. Okay, okay, okay. I need to do two things. I need I needed to remove the display hidden. Oh, display none rather. From hammer pick. And then it needs to add display lock which obviously is not going to work because this thing here is overriding it um i'm at a 10 second delay i see yeah i don't know why it's doing a delay man is i set it to be like instant but i'm not sure why mm, okay toggle 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 so toggle is going to toggle, uh, it's just going to add and remove this one. But the problem with that is we already have a permanent display none in here. But if we have it as display none at the beginning and then do that, right? And then do a remove, that should work. Or, or toggle that should work so it should be hidden and when i click on this why does that not like it oh do i have to do this thing class list add yeah that's what i'm missing That should be it. And uh, the problem is I'm also don't worry without the without the full stop. Okay. Hey, there we go. Look at that. All right. So now, so right now it registers on the click race because if we keep clicking. Right, and once the game finishes, I need it to then 
hide it again. That's what I need to do. So toggle at the end. So right now we do this looping thing right here. I think somewhere here, I'm gonna to toggle it again. Let's see if that works. So nothing here, start, stop, start. Hey, no, 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 it's going away, okay. Okay, so not here. Somewhere here, maybe. <clears throat> All right, no hammer. Still no hammer. So where can I add it? Maybe I create a separate function just to remove Function toggle hammer maybe. And then we'll just call that function at the start and at the end. I mean, in theory that should work, right? But if it's gonna work if I call a function, it should also work when I add it directly in this function here. Because there's no difference between Okay, so what do we have? We got function pop out that removes the toggle. And then on um well this can go away. And then if game interval game is running, uh, whatever. This means do nothing, just return out the current function. Ah, uh, maybe I need to add it somewhere here. Mm, no, it's not that is to prevent it from restarting while the game is in progress. And then there's a delay of 10 seconds. Um, Hmm, where would I move it to? Am I still console log index and why? Yeah, okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, so game finish actually happens straight away. And it goes through if and else, if and else, if and else. Right, so I need to find out where this thing ends and where it stops. So line 40. So this one runs straight away, which is not helpful. Uh, do me a favor and add pointer events known to your hammer pick CSS. It will make the hammer image ignore pointer events and let you click through it. It will save the headings later. Okay. Because <laughs> was, that was one of the things, trying to figure out how to do that. Awesome. Pointer events, no. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. So you're saying I can actually click right now? Oh, look at that. Hey. Okay, cool. OK, 
Okay, I need to figure out where the the thing should go. So this is a function here, game interval. So if and else is here, so maybe. Maybe somewhere here after the else, right? Does that work? Game finish is already done. Okay, that runs on every loop. That is not where we want it. I'm down with MCP. Welcome back, man. How's it going? Also, Scalpel Spider, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> After line 48 is where you would add it. Okay, cool. <laughs> you just saved me trying it. I would have tried that after this one. Awesome. It's going good. Just got done with work. Awesome, man. Um, yeah, I got done with work. Yeah. Uh, this week's been kind of slow. I'm, this is my second stream of the week because I've been so busy at work. Um, other than that, it's good. Awesome, man. There you go. Game finished. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I just need to run this thing right here, and that should take care of that. We're just going to toggle it right here. Right. So, start. <clears throat> it's going to bring a hammer. And then on end, it should go away. Boom. Perfect. Um, so yeah, MCP, we added a bunch of new features to this game. So this is the one I'm working on right now, Project Black or Mole. Right. Um, so we've actually just completed one of the things, right? Hiding the... Wait, we didn't, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have that as a, as a thing. Hide the hammer after 10 seconds, sorry. I just want more tick boxes, so we're just gonna create one. Um, okay, so now I also need to do a countdown of three, two, one. So I think I'm probably gonna create a separate function for that. Countdown, um, I'm just gonna do some, do something. I have no idea how to do a countdown. Is there something for a time property in JavaScript? Get time, what is that? Get time. Return the number of milliseconds since... Okay, well, that doesn't help me. I need a... Um, Get take get take get hours, get many seconds, get many seconds might be good. Get seconds is better. Uh return seconds according to local time, fantastic. Uh D is new date. And is D dot get seconds. Try it for yourself. All right. Um, let D equals new date. And I'm learning so much from this project right now. These are all new concepts for me. Uh, let N equals D dot get seconds. Oh, I've got this thing wrong. All right, let's see what that gives us. <clears throat> well, I will hit the bed. Good luck and see you. All right, man, thanks for hanging around. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm probably going to sleep soon as well. Uh, it's almost 3 a.m. 
it's not going oh i need no 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 what am i doing i need to do cons countdown yeah i need to call this see what it gives me Okay, it is working. So you see, every second is giving me one one one, which is cool. I just needed to somehow. How do I make it give me every second? Console law. It just needs to go in a loop somehow. Get seconds. There you go. So I need to do a loop. If i is less than ten, i is zero. Yeah, whatever okay that's not what i want um actually no that might just work i'm just gonna call it add function add time that's gonna take i as a thing If in our case i is less than ten, well, so it's be less than four. I only need to show three, two, or one. Can I do this? Basically, greater than zero, less than four. So it'd be three, two, one. Um, turn zero plus I, I don't know why. So we turn I and then we got a count down function here. Um, yeah, so we just got those two things. All right, we don't have. Okay. I'm just going to go on H two tag to test here. Um, I don't know ABC ID equals countdown. C down, and then if I say let C equals get element by ID, uh, the ID is countdown, right? And then um, C dot in HTML equals and Is it actually going to count down every second? Okay, so we've got ABC. So if I do count down now, hey, look at that. It's been running since. I needed to reset <laughs> and not just come from whenever I clicked earlier. Um, since you want to count on three seconds, you can just copy the pattern for your animation code, but instead of random portion of a second, you just run it every second. So this bit here. So the i is zero, i is less than four, i plus plus. Um, 
also need to include the set timeout call, but instead of 10, change it to three. All right, let's just copy it and then we'll, I think I understand what you're saying, but I'm not fully sure. Let's, let's paste it in here, right? Set interval, uh, let's get rid of all of that. So how is it going to know what to push? Uh, instead of a code, you would write code to redraw the time of value. Okay. This thing here. <laughs> That's not it. But this means it's going to run the code every three seconds, though, right? Or it's going to run for three seconds. Um, redraw the timer value. Yeah, so let's change it to be a second, okay. How do we make it go every 10 seconds? We added another thing for 10 seconds, okay. So we got this thing here too. Set interval and set timeout, okay. All right. That would be the set timeout, okay. So timeout would be the 3000 because you know for three seconds. <clears throat> set makes whatever you pass in happen periodically, set time out waits for however long pass in, then returns the function. All right, um, so Sendsville will calculate whatever I wanted to calculate every second. I do need the code from earlier back then, this time thing. Um, S equals Oh, not really Yeah, okay So if this thing checks every second um, What's it checking every second? It needs to pass in. How do I make it say, okay, three, two, one? Oh, 
Um, what did you say? You said I need to draw, redraw the timer value. What is what does that mean? Um, timer value. Create seconds countdown in six lines of JavaScript. There you go. Yeah, here's, here's exactly what you're telling me. Set functions, interval functions, seconds minus minus. Essentially what you did with the score, right. Score plus plus. Uh, in that case, I'd probably do a <clears throat> countdown minus minus and then. Okay, something like that. Um, where am I getting the seconds from? And this rule needs to change. Okay, so it's doing a text content. Um, in my case, I need to let I need to let a starting starting stuff right. Three. If starting time. I mean, it's going to equal three, right? Does that make sense? Starting time. So I'm assigning a thing. Then if that is, what's this? Okay, if it matches, then decrement by one. And then, so maybe I need to go four. So then it gives me a three. And then the second, right, run it again, and then do that for three seconds. This is a little more elegant since he doesn't, doesn't use a, in the example, they just pull it from my HTML. Okay. Right, and I'm trying to pull it from. Oh, no, no. I need to run countdown here. Three. Good thing is it's showing three, but it's not doing the countdown. Um, okay. Um, Undefined. What's the problem? Uh, 
oh, I need to do this. Do I need to do this at the end in the set timeout? Starting time is not defined. Fantastic. That's because it's outside of scope. Since you do remove it. Oh. Right, okay, 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 that makes sense. Um, so it looks like I actually need to I think I need to do a wild thing too, not a thing. While starting time is greater than zero. And I need to change this to a three. Uh, so if the check within the example was used instead of doing the set timeout call, that's why. Okay, I'll go back to the example in a second. Two one zero. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like it's spinning that out way too fast. Not even waiting a second. And it's not assigning it. Well, we're console logging the time. That's also bad because um, cause I'd be changing the original thing too. I don't want to do that. So I'm to focus on in a while loop. What else can I can I do an if loop, if if statement rather? Yeah, zero because I'm yeah I shouldn't be able I shouldn't be changing the this thing here, right? That needs to stay intact. So it needs to reset to that. It's so, okay. So what I can do is uh, let timer equals starting time, right? And if timer is greater than zero, which it will be, then timer minus minus and then once it's run, I want you to well, it doesn't matter, I think that's it. But the problem is this isn't gonna fix the initial issue. It's gonna fix the starting timer not being messed up. Right. Timer is not defined. Why not? Oh, because it's outside. Great, great. Expected identifier seventy six.
one. Time is zero. Um, it should be reassigning here, but it's not. Okay, so what it's doing is doing the three, two, one, and then it's pushing the, the end result right at the end. Uh, so I do to make to determine which bracket goes with what. I usually add comments after bracket stating what is good. For example, function countdown code, code because here end. Okay, yeah, yeah, that would definitely help me. All right, the next ones I will I will use that technique. Um, what's going on here though? What's the problem? I think what it's doing is, so if I console log the timer, it's, it's doing three, two, one, and then it's pushing. So I think what I need to do is I, I actually need to, this thing, I think this is go here. That may be the problem. And then this thing actually goes in here, maybe. Yes, we did it. <laughs> okay, we now have a countdown timer. That's gr okay. That's awesome. Okay, the problem is it doesn't reset. Huh? It needs to reset to three. It does. Yeah, it does. It doesn't do it after the second time though. Look at that. What does it? What is that doing? We have a bug, guys. <laughs> There's a bug. And I have no idea why it's doing that. So calm down. Three, two, one. Whatever. Do this thing. And run it again. Zero. What are you doing? Where are you defining starting time? Starting time, I created it up top here. Um, here, it's right here, both of them. It's outside any of the functions, it's right at the top of the document. I didn't want to use starting time because when I did that, it was it was destroying the. And the reset variable, the reset. This one here. So, okay, so maybe it needs to go afterwards. Somewhere here. Oh no, it was resetting fine now. Three, two, one. Zero and it doesn't do it. okay. We don't want it to be zero. Why is it? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Okay, that's the problem. Three two one three two one zero. Okay, uh, that's the issue. So he needs to do. Three, two, one, three, stop. Right. So if time is greater than zero, maybe maybe greater than one, that should stop the zero. Let's see. Three, two, one. Seven nine seven nine seven nine. Why is it running twice though? I mean, that, that's going to make it go too fast, right? Yeah, that's not the solution. That's going to make it go way too fast. This thing here is a problem. Since you aren't capturing the interval ID, 
then you aren't actually stopping the sensible thing. Oh, I remember. I remember talking about this last time. Uh, when you do a clear interval, game interval. Oh, time <laughs> times equals that. Something like that. It's way too fast now. You see? Three, two, one, four. I know it's a four because we made timer equals that, right? Maybe we just go go or something. Why is it not showing the one? Is it happening too fast? Uh, I think it's because we didn't. Yeah, I was start at three, then set. Four, three, two. Um, okay. Okay, because okay, so I need to change the three. Mm, still not doing the one. Hey, what's up? Thanks, kids. What's going on? Great. 
Gotcha. Okay. Okay. But now I've set it to three, right? Currently coding. Nice. What's your coding? How JavaScript? JavaScript is good, man. We've been building a bunch of different games. This is uh, this is my third project we're building. Oh. <laughs> learning new every every day. Today I'm learning how to add times, and um, I'm down with MCP. Is helping me out. GitHub. Oh, I don't have that. How do I? Dude, I need to add my GitHub to it. Um, okay. Kind of doing work for a startup or work for a nice. Can I ask which startup? Yeah, I guess you'd go to my review page, whatever. Twitch, authorize. Hang on. I've already authorized it before. What do I gotta do again? It's kind of stressful when I have to do high school homework and work. You're in high school, man, and you're already working. See top commands, top chatter, burp. Hey, look at that. Um, commands. Should not work. Boom. Amazing. Um, okay, so. <laughs> All right, calm down. Three, two, one. It's still showing so fast. I guess three, two, one, zero. So maybe I need to change this to four ones. And then it's not going to skip through the last one. Yeah, that works. Okay, great, great, great. That was, that was a mistake. Cool. And then I need it to hide after after it says go. Does it when does it get here? Oh, it goes there straight away. Okay, that's bad. That's gonna happen immediately, right? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, ABC. I need to remove the ABC too. I don't want that to show up. So I can get rid of it here. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have a countdown. So three, two, one. All right. That's fantastic. So the problem now is I need to. I need that to start when I click on start. Right. So we need to I have no idea if that's going to work or not because I need this to um, I need the rest of these to run after this has been run for three seconds, but right, but obviously it's going to run instantaneously. So I need to do another set timeout and do it again. If you want something to happen at the end, then you need to include it within the set timeout. So I need another set timeout within a <laughs> within another set timeout. Okay. Cool. 
So I guess I could just go um, function start game. And this thing would do the do these these things here, right? It's gonna set it to this, and then it's also gonna do the countdown thing. Right. And then it would run and then we do a set timeout. Handle Time out, not time out number. Let's see. So time out B4000 because that's how long it's going to take. And then here it's going to be pop out. Does that make sense? Uh, but I need this. Okay, let's do. Okay, that did not work at all. If you want something to happen, do it. How do I do that? Um, okay, so countdown three, two, one, right? Oh, I guess I could add it to the countdown function down, down below and then run that in here, somewhere here, three, two, one, and then just pop out. I think that's okay. I think that's actually what you said. You could have the pop out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, no, that's not what I need to do. I need to. I haven't connected the start button to the start game yet. So that's the problem there. Um, if I did that. Three, two, one, go. Hey, look at that. All right, we're in. <laughs> we're in. Um, the problem is that my, my thing isn't showing up. And the reason that it doesn't show up is because I've got it connected to the start click, right? Okay, so we need to change that. <clears throat> um, the way to change that would be, let's see. This should have done it though, start game. Yeah, it is here. Um, um, where's my start button? Start button is where? If you just uncommented within the pop-up function, it should work. Oh, I don't know why I commented it. This this doesn't need to be here though. Okay, cool. Um, so I just need to change um, pop out. Okay, yeah, that needs to run start game. All right, let's see. It's 
Star button added in the Snow Run Star Game. Star Game toggles it so you can see it. And then we run Countdown. Countdown does. The, yeah, the 3 to 1. And at the end of the 3 to 1, clear it. And we run Pop Out and Pop Out. We'll then toggle it again. Okay, but I don't need it to toggle here. It needs to toggle at the end, right here. Okay, let's try that again. Why are you showing up straight away, man? Oh, because I've got it here, that's why. <laughs> Do I want to show? I do want it to show up there, right? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Just click on that. We've got the hammer. Right. Three, two, one, go. Thing comes out, and then boom, 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 we're going to whack it, get some scores up, and then by the time that finishes, it just needs to go away now. And it goes, oh, cool. It's, it's doing what it's meant to do. It should actually be kind of, all right. Um, sweet. So we can take one more thing off the list. So after clicking start, I should show a countdown three to one. Then start the thing. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we could also add that. And then it should remove the hammer after 10 seconds. This might actually be under here. <clears throat> Add a game over message after 10 seconds. Do I want to add that? I don't think I want to. It's going to do all this, all this stuff. Okay, what it needs to say is <clears throat> this button is to change to round two and then round three and round four. So I guess we'll come back to that tomorrow. Because, um, yeah, what I need to do is it's, it's going to be a round based game. And as you progress through the different rounds, the speed of the mode is going to change. It's going to get faster and faster. Um, yeah, okay. Cool. Man, I think we made a lot of progress today. It's been, what, three hours? But I know we only take four things, but that was a lot, a lot of learning. Um, yeah, okay. I'll be back tomorrow and we'll finish this off. Maybe tomorrow, if not Saturday for sure. I still need to learn how to do local storage. Need to limit this stuff. Um, yeah, do that. Different sounds need to implement that. Cool. This, this is going to be interesting. Um, all right. Cool guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop. Um, what are you guys up to now? <clears throat> Should we raid someone? Who do you who do you normally watch MCP? Let's go let's go over to him or her. Twitch. Uh, none of the people I follow are online. I don't know. If, I don't know what go to. I just browse science technology. Okay. Beginner game dev. We go to him then. Cool. People already drop in, so <laughs> we're gonna raid him in a party of five. Yeah, okay. Alright guys, again, thanks for hanging out. I uh, will be back tomorrow. And um yeah. We will continue. Alright, catch you guys later.